In order for users to connect to a database instance, a database administrator must first start the database instance. The database instance and database go through a series of stages as they are made available for access by users. These stages are Starting the database instance Mounting the database Opening the database you can use the startup command in SQL Plus to start the database instance. The startup command has a number of options that allow you to specify which stage of the startup process you want to perform. No mount option starts the database instance. When you start the database instance, the Oracle software performs the following tasks. Reads the initialization parameter file. Starts background processes. Allocates memory to the SJ. Once the database instance has been started, you can mount the database. When you mount the database, the Oracle software performs the following tasks. Associates the database with the database instance. Opens and reads the control files. Obtains the names and statuses of the data files and online redo log files. Mount stage does not check to verify the existence of the data files and online redo log files. When you open the database, the Oracle software performs the following tasks. Opens the redo log files and data files. Enables users to connect to the database instance. By default, PDBs are not started when you open the database. Use the shutdown command to shut down the database instance. Various modes of shutdown are immediate, normal, transactional, and abort. The immediate shutdown mode is the most commonly used option. It immediately terminates all current SQL statements being processed by the database instance, rolls back any uncommitted transactions, and disconnects all connected users. The database server then closes and dismounts the database before shutting down the database instance. Normal Shutdown the normal shutdown mode is the default shutdown mode if no mode is specified with the shutdown command. In this mode, the Oracle server does not allow any new connections to be made. The server then waits for all currently connected users to disconnect before completing the shutdown. Once all users have disconnected, the database server writes any buffered data to disk terminates any background processes, and removes the system global area, SGA, from memory. The database server then closes and dismounts the database before shutting down the instance. Transactional Shutdown The transactional shutdown mode prevents clients from losing data, including the results of their current activity. In this mode, no client can start a new transaction on the database instance. When a client ends the transaction that is in progress, the client is disconnected. Once all transactions have been completed, the database is shut down immediately. Abort Shutdown The abort shutdown mode puts the database in an inconsistent state and requires recovery before it can be started again. Therefore, you should only use this mode when necessary. It is not advisable to back up the database in this state. The abort shutdown mode is typically used when no other form of shutdown works. When there are problems with starting the database instance, or when you need to shut down immediately because of an impending situation, such as notice of a power outage within seconds. The following happens during a shutdown in abort mode, an instance failure, or a database instance startup in force mode. 
Current SQL statements being processed by the Oracle server are immediately terminated. The Oracle server does not wait for users who are currently connected to the database to disconnect. Database and redo buffers are not written to disk. Uncommitted transactions are not rolled back. The instance is terminated without closing the files. The database is not closed or dismounted. The next startup requires instance recovery, which occurs automatically. It is important to note that the database becomes inconsistent when you perform an abort shutdown, whereas it stays consistent during the other shutdown modes. Also, note that you need to recover the database instance after you perform an abort shutdown. Whereas with the other shutdown modes, you don't need to do so. Opening a PDB To open a PDB, you can use the following command. Alter pluggable database PDB1 open. This command will change the mode of the PDB from mount to read write. Once the PDB is open, users can connect to it and start using it. Closing a PDB To close a PDB, you can use the following command. Alter pluggable database PDB1 close. This command will change the mode of the PDB from read-write to mount. Once the PDB is closed, users will no longer be able to connect to it. Saving the state of a PDB By default, PDBs are opened in mount mode when the CDB is restarted. However, you can use the save state clause of the alter pluggable database command to preserve a PDB's open mode across CDB restarts. The save state clause saves the last open state of the PDB. So, the PDB will open after the CDB restart only if the PDB was in the open state when the save state clause was used to save the last state. To save the state of a PDB, you can use the following command. Alter pluggable database PDB1 save state. Discarding the state of a PDB. To revert back to the default behavior, you can use the discard state clause of the alter pluggable database command. The discard state clause discards the last open state of the PDB. So, the PDB will open in mount mode after the CDB restart, regardless of its open state when the discard state clause was used. To discard the state of a PDB, you can use the following command. Alter pluggable database PDB1 discard state.